Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook on Friday the 7th of June. Despite the calendar, it's a rather cool theme that's with us at the moment and looks like staying that way through much of the week ahead. It's a tricky forecast beyond about a week. Generally, it's one of being showery. The pattern coming round into more of an east or northeasterly wind, which will strengthen at times during the week ahead. High pressure is tantalisingly close, trying to build to our northwest, and it's that that holds the key to mid June. We'll start with a quick skip through temperatures because they're only just above freezing, and this chart is the 850 millibar level. We often show you that through the winter season, and when pressure is lower at the surface, that 850 level comes lower as well and starts to represent the heights of the highest Scottish tops. The number on the white background, the 136, equivalent to 1,360 metres, so we're not far off the top of Ben Nevis. And I won't uh, use this for any one individual day, but just to show you the general air mass and temperatures shown on this chart at this level, only just above freezing point. And that'll be the order of things then for a few days ahead. You can just see how sub-zero temperatures try and nudge towards Scotland. It might not quite dip below freezing on our tops, but uh, some of the tops in the morning might just see uh, air temperatures below zero. Onwards over a few days and not too much changes. There's no genuinely warm air getting drawn towards us in the near future. Just maybe a lift of temperatures as the week goes on. The colours just relent a little bit. But overall, with the airflow pattern originating from the east or the northeast, there's nothing particularly warm in the outlook for the time being. Here's your charts for the next few days and for Saturday low pressure that's pulled northwards across Britain through Friday is parked somewhere over the North Sea and a wraparound of a front is in charge just rotating slowly around the low so there's rain persistent over many hours focused on the southern uplands, the Lake District, the Pennines, the Peak District. It will tend to clear from Wales but will leave a legacy of showers. Now for Scotland, the highlands that may escape not too bad. I suspect the eastern side of the highlands struggle beneath that front with some rain at times at least and the tendency of rain to fill in a bit as the day goes on. The best spots, the west and northwest highlands, may escape with not that much rain in the day. Wrapped around the low, also strong winds, gales uh, for several hours. Again, focused more on England and Wales, but will strengthen for a period at least across the Highlands. All in all, then, a rather unsettled Saturday in June for the British Isles. It's a slightly better story into Sunday. That low begins to fill and pull away northwards. It leaves, though, still a fairly cool and unstable air mass that will generate some areas of showers. Now, some of these showers may be leftovers from previous rain, so they'll be around from first thing in the morning. Others will build up during the course of the day and at most widespread into the afternoon. Where they form, the cloud will lower, but the air mass is quite clear, so there should be a few breaks to higher tops at least. Maybe just more of a struggle on onshore mountains around western coasts where the air is coming in off the sea, which would tend just to keep cloud on the hilltops much of the day. Again, it's a rather cool feel. Pressure becoming quite slack then into the start of the new week, and that's always a tricky one to get detail, but uh, once again it's a story of showers, and this model not doing a bad job of picking them out. Exactly where they'll be is very hard to tell. They'll build up through the day again, so it's more into the afternoon as showers break out with not much wind. They'll move around slowly, so it's going to be very hit and miss in terms of whether you get a downpour or miss them altogether. Temperature's still cool, but without the wind, not feeling quite as bad. Slight changes in the pattern into the middle of the week sees low pressure become more focused across continental Europe and higher pressure building to our northwest and opening the door to more of a northeasterly uh, weather pattern with the wind tending to strengthen at this stage and as we head into midweek it is likely to strengthen further. Detail again is somewhat elusive but showers are likely. Across Scotland, there may be fewer of them as we're under higher pressure at this stage, but a scattering of showers looks believable. Clouds should break to higher tops. Again, it's just that rather cool feel. Fairly low confidence with absolute details. A lot could just evolve by this point, but it's still most likely an east or northeasterly pattern. There's the risk of something of a front being tangled into that, and if it does, then low cloud and some rain and drizzle could get uh, dragged on to more eastern hills, perhaps focused on the Pennines. Showery conditions then through the day. West and northwest Scotland more likely to be under drier conditions, again nearer to high pressure. But notice the close proximity of the isobars. That's indicating a windy day. And with that cool airflow, a notable chill once again across the mountains.
So the message is keep your layers handy as we go onwards into midweek. Uh, That chill factor quite marked across the higher terrain. This is the story into the middle of the week then, and I think high pressure is going to be stationed to our northwest. There's a a cut-off area of low pressure, the uh, zone of yellow colours indicating a little cut-off feature in the upper atmosphere over France and the south of England. It's that that's making everything slow moving and nothing really coming in off the Atlantic. We're stuck in a rut uh, with a block of high pressure to our northwest, a trough of low pressure away to the southeast, and for a good few days next week, that's maybe just where we go. It leaves detail very awkward then as we head toward the later part of the week. It still looks as though western northwest Scotland is perhaps the place to be in terms of avoiding anything that's rotating around the low. There's the risk that Eastern Scotland and perhaps England and Wales get interfered with at times by things rotating in off the North Sea. There's a chance that that high could build a bit more strongly and suppress the low a bit further southwards and we could find that many places end up under drier conditions but I'd suggest that may be a bit too optimistic, maybe too good to be true that everywhere settles down as the week goes on. So it's a mixture again. There will be some low cloud focused more on eastern hills, there'll be some showers at times and once again the temperatures nothing too special. It leaves a pattern that is quite uncertain then into the middle of the month. For the time being at least, it doesn't look like any repeat of the 2018 summer. There's not really any heat getting into the mix anytime soon. We'll keep an eye on things then and update you in the next planning video on Tuesday. Stay up to date with all your local details on our website every single day. Follow us on the social media feeds as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.